hello welcome back to modest lifestyle if you're coming across this channel for the first time my name is modesta i'm a nigerian currently based in doha if you haven't joined this beautiful family please make sure you do that click on that red button that says subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification button so that anytime we drop a wenge video you'll be notified and to my returning subscribers the modest nation i see you all thank you for your support love you guys the reaction video Holy. Holy i just want to address one thing here uh, the last reaction video I did about NJ, she mentioned some of her friendship deal breakers. So after I dropped that video, of course, the Reaction Video Association of Nigeria, everybody jumped on that reaction. And I watched a couple of them. And I just want to mention something that I found in one of the videos that I watched. On that comment section, I don't want to call out anybody or I don't want it to look like I'm complaining, but I just want to address this here one more time. The reaction video is a content because I read somewhere somebody was saying these women, these cheap jobless women. And as I watch that video, I know that a lot of people will be reacting on this. I know a, a lot of people will misinterpret what she, the message that she was passing um they cannot have their own content the reaction video is a content why must we be against each other for nothing every other country do reaction video now as nigerians why are we having problem with it you don't want to do reaction video that's okay you don't even have to watch it thank god there's a button that says do not recommend this channel if you don't like reaction channels that do reaction video just select do not recommend the channel and YouTube will help you and do the job. Don't, I hate when I read comments like this. Oh, they are jobless. Oh, they don't have content. Reaction video is a content. If you are doing a reaction video, you, you're not doing it because you lack content. You're doing it because that is what works for you. Me, if I check my YouTube analytics, and reaction video is not working for me. Do you think I will still be here doing it? Or am I doing it because I don't have a job? I remember Didi Uncut mentioned this before. Some people use YouTube for therapy. It's therapeutic. Some people use it to forget things that they are going through on daily basis. Some people, somebody like me, I am on YouTube because I used to have very, very difficult time expressing myself. Not that I don't know what to say, but as soon as I, I am to talk to crowd, something, I will have like a, a brain block. Something from nowhere will start happening to me. I will start panicking. But ever since I started uh, this uh, channel, I've noticed that I've conquered that fear. I've conquered that challenge. Not that I don't know what to do. Not that I cannot create my own content. I have over 100 videos. And if you check those 100 videos that I have, not all of them is reaction video. I have other contents about my family, about what I, a day in my life, a, a day at my workplace, other stuff that I do. Uh, yes. So you guys should respect people and the decision that they have made in life. What do you want people to do? What do you want people to do? You feel somebody is doing reaction video. The person is less of a human being because that person is reacting, giving her own views, giving her own thoughts. Of, and then that person is not a human being. This is becoming too much. Leave people alone with the decisions that they have made in life. Allow other people to be. Ladies of the view, TVC. If you go, they are on YouTube, go and check them out. TVC, Ladies of View. What do they do? They do reaction. You actually learn a lot from reaction video, whereby you get to hear what other people think about certain issues. So, um, allow people to be. Don't feel that somebody 
is chasing cloud. Don't feel that somebody is less of a human being. Don't feel that somebody is jobless. Content creation is a job. YouTube is a career. Some people are, are making it big time here. We all know this. All right, guys. I'm here to react to the last video that was dropped by Nelo Okeke. Nelo Okeke is a Nigerian YouTuber, Patakot YouTuber. She's a big fish on the street. So she took her YouTube page to announce that Uche, Uche Otom is the YouTube channel, that Uche will be having her own channel. Uche is uh, her nanny. And their relationship has gone from, you know, Madame Nanny thing. It has become like a family. Uche has become more like a family. And when I saw that, I said, I must come here and say well done to Nelo Keke for taking care of this lady, for proving to people that when you mean that somebody is your help, when you mean that somebody is your nanny, it doesn't mean that the person is less of a human being. It doesn't mean that that, that person doesn't want anything. You might actually contribute to the person's future. And this is what I am seeing. You know, Uche, from what they were saying, will be going to university. And Nelo is footing the bill. I mean, who else can do this? Some of us, uh, not that our parents did not have the opportunity to train us, but for no reason, some of us did not go to university because our parents did not deem it necessary that they should train us, not that they don't have the money. Yes, some did not go because their parents could not afford it, but I know also other people that their parents got the opportunity, but they didn't. But look at Nelo. Um, if Nelo was a selfish person, I don't think she will do this. She will go because uh, now the girl, from what they are saying, will be going to university, so she will be moving out of the house. And still, Nelo did not let the relationship end there. If it were, if she was a selfish madam, as soon as the services is no longer there, she will delete that page. She will forget everything about her and move on. So, well done. Good job, Nelo Keke. You've done so well. Uche, um, from what they are saying, wanted to go for nursing. So her reason, one of her reasons, which I, I want to react on is, um, she said that uh, she doesn't want to, she wants to have more time for her family. She doesn't want to spend a lot of time in the hospital because she can't stand seeing blood. She can't even remove a pulse if somebody is having a wound. Um, she can't give injection. She, I know a lot of people that wanted to do nursing did not continue because of all these reasons. But one thing that uh, I wanted to address there is nurses um, don't actually live in the hospital. Nursing job is such that nursing job is very flexible in the sense that you work certain hours. Some do eight hours, some do twelve hours. So just like every other job, it's like it's more like nine to five job. The only difference is that you might be doing night shifts, which you have control over. What I mean that you have control over is as soon as you graduate as a nurse. Uh, I'm not saying this to make uh, Uche change her mind. She may not even see this video. But I'm just saying it so that whoever that uh, have intention of doing nothing might also hear this if the person comes across this channel. Um, you have uh, control over whether you want to do night shift. You know, when you are, of course, nurses sell like nothing. Nursing job sells like nothing, especially abroad. So while you are searching for a nursing job, you can actually choose whether you want to work in the clinic. Like me, I hate night shift to my bones. Too, too, too much. I don't like to do night shift because I'm one person that likes to sleep at night. My body has been like that. So I, I struggle, struggle, struggle a lot to keep awake at night. I can stay awake throughout the day. So that's why I prefer to do the day, day shift. So you can actually choose, especially if you have young family, you have children to look after. 
while you are searching for a nursing job you can actually choose whether you want to do night shift or not so that's why it's flexible but i wish her all the best in her career in her studies and i just want to say uh, a big huge congratulations to nelo and uche and i wish her all the best in her channel i will be subscribing i actually went and i saw that she hasn't uh, posted so i said once you post a new video on that channel uche Utom, guys let's go and support her you know to encourage her she has done well for herself if she was not a good person to nelo i don't think nelo would be going this far out of her way to invest in her because that's how i see it if she's not a nice person if she's not there if she did not treat nelo well and treat the the family well i don't think they will or even nj is so happy that uh, uche will finally ha you know start up her own youtube channel and also going for university things like this that is how i also believe in investing in human beings and even material things because the investment that you invest in human being lasts longer than when you buy a car because the car can have an accident and is gone in a minute but when you give such investment like education and now she has the chance to start her own channel you guys you know if you are a youtuber and you don't have someone who will support you you know her you know the struggle she's already sitting with 2000 plus subscribers all because of nelo keke all right guys if you watch till this moment do not forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in my next one bye bye